Hey guys, how you doing? This is it. This is the final countdown to getting out of China. I am down to the last 24 hours. I am excited, I am exhausted, but I can't wait for this to happen. So what I've done is rented a room on the same floor of where I live and I'm going to pack up all my life basically put it into these two boxes and with my two bikes this bike and another bike that's already been boxed up that's going with me to the airport and that's it all right and so everything right here on this bed is uh, my life and it's going with me all right and so it is a, a stressful time and you've got to make a lot of decisions to get this right and I'm using my computer and spreadsheet to figure out the values of everything I own to narrow it down now here's where it gets interesting watch this so I am walking out the door of the room I've rented right here and I'm walking down the hallway to my apartment or my apartment for the next 24 hours and just like that I am in my apartment a lot more light in here and this is where it gets very interesting I think to the average person outside of China because you see all the stuff I'm leaving behind there is no way to take all the stuff that I have and that I own with me if you can believe this and so I, I have a whole coffee mug collection up here there's no way for me to take it I'd love to take it coffee mugs lots of cereal so if you like oatmeal come to my house if you like to drink some coke or sprite come to my house I got it I'm not gonna use it gotta throw it all out or somebody's going to, have to throw it all out. Then you go back to my bedroom here. Look at this. 56 inch TV. Not, can't do anything with it. I'm just going to have to leave it here. Lots of books. Lots of sentimental stuff here. Nothing I can do. It all. I can't take it with me because there's not enough room. And this is all due to the travel restrictions from the lockdowns uh, here in China. And so this was not planned, this was not expected. And right here, this is kind of heartbreaking. These four bags right here, these are gifts from the students. And so the students gave me lots of gifts. The final uh, day I was at work, the final weekend I was at work, because they, they think I'm just going on a short trip. They think I'm going to be back at some point. So it's really sad because these young people and the people I know here in uh, Xinjiang, they're not understanding this is not a move this is a one-way trip there is no coming back it, it, it's a one-way trip from behind the iron curtain it reminds me a lot of the uh bridge of no return from the korean war um you're not going to be able to go back and forth they've already announced um, a couple days ago that the lockdowns are going to be going on till 2027 here in china they are going to be keeping the travel restrictions up. It's not going to get any better. Um, I don't think I'm ever coming back here again. I don't think most foreigners are ever coming back here again. And the, you know, basically the guys who are choosing to stay here in China are choosing to stay in captivity, much like the people did in the Korean War, who chose not to go across that bridge. But once I go across the bridge tomorrow, which is basically customs at the Xinyang Takshin Airport. Once I get through there, I'm basically to the other side of the bridge of no return. And then I get to walk onto the Korean airplane. And as soon as that thing is airborne and out of uh, Chinese airspace, I'm basically on the other side of the bridge of no return. And I'm going to be ecstatic. I'm going to uh, be so happy to have freedom again not having to worry about lockdowns or restrictions, but I'm going to be heartbroken because I know I'm going to feel survivor guilt. It is going to uh, weigh on me heavily knowing the future that I'm leaving behind with the people here. It's, it's not going to be pretty. So it's, it's with a heavy heart 
and so I, I feel a mix of emotions um, there's times when I want to jump touch the ceiling because I'm so happy there's other times I want to cry because I'm thinking about the grief I'm going to be leaving behind over the upcoming years so even though I do have a heavy heart I keep telling myself that the change is going to be all worth it um, positive things don't happen by chance in life they happen by change okay and I'm gonna make that change tomorrow I'm gonna go across that bridge of no return and get my freedom and I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait and I can't wait to see you when I get to the other side of the bridge of no return it's going to happen we're only 24 hours away I can't wait to see you